Today, you are going to learn how to send an email from ConvertKit. Now, there are two ways to do it, and we're gonna break each one of those down. I'm Jason Resnick of NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co, and as I said, there are two ways in which you can send emails through ConvertKit. One is via a broadcast message, which is essentially your one-off or one-time email that you send out to your list. And the second method is through sequences, which are usually a series of emails that get sent out to your list in a repeatable way, usually through an automation. And you're going to want just about everyone on your list to be able to see these emails and, and get them. We're going to dive in first in this video with the broadcasts. There's going to be a link to the other video on sequences. And the reason why I broke them up is because, well, they are different and there are variations between the two. Let's dive in and talk about broadcasts. So you're going to log into your ConvertKit account and then click on the top called broadcasts. Now, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when creating a new broadcast, well, is click that new broadcast button. And what you'll see here is, is the, the new editor. It's the, the most up-to-date editor, I should say, at the time of this recording. Now, if you see something different here, something that looks like this, well, that's the legacy. That's the legacy editor, and you want to move off and switch to their new editor as quickly as you can. And the reason why is because they are not actively, they meaning ConvertKit, are not actively developing and improving this editor. This is the first thing that you're going to see. Now, you dive right in to building out the email. I encourage you to write and draft up your email outside of ConvertKit. Google Docs, a Word document, Notion, Evernote, whatever it is that you create documents in, do it there. And I, for three reasons. One, you have an offline copy of it. Two, you can edit it nicely and in, in line and use tools like Grammarly, Hemingway app and so on and so forth to basically check your spellings and grammar and all the rest of it. But three, you don't lose it. In the past, I've seen people spend time building up and writing this, this long email only to have the website or your browser time out and then you lost everything. So use something else to draft the email and then bring it into here, send it out, okay? <clears throat> So the first thing that you're going to do is insert your subject, right? Subject line. Now they have A-B testing <clears throat> and you can test. If you don't know what A-B testing is or split testing, really it's testing which one gets the open rates. Now I want to share with you, if you plan on sending this out to your list at 10 a.m., well, if you need it to land in the inbox at 10 a.m., if you're running a split test, it's actually going to send out to 30%, 15% to subject line A and 15% to subject line B at that time. Now it's only 30%. Then over the next four hours, it monitors the open rates. And then four hours later, it'll send out to the rest of your list. Okay. So be mindful of that. You write in your email. So I'm just going to put some text in here, my lorem zombie text. You can go ahead and pick a template. So I have a couple of different templates that I choose from. You will actually see what it looks like in some state here. Um, <clears throat> or you could click this preview button and see what it looks like. What this preview allows you to do is also see it as a subscriber, which is nice because you can actually see the subscriber come in and the name will fill in or any other personalization that you have. I would also suggest that you send a test email to yourself. If you have any customization or any logic going on in here, you wanna make sure that it shows up in the inbox that way. Sometimes, well, in the past, what you see here in this preview screen doesn't actually render out in the inbox. So send a test to yourself. And that's it. Then we click on continue. <clears throat> It brings us to here. So 
we can see kind of like at a high level what this preview is. You can also do see that preview once more. Again, they're emphasizing preview. They want you to send the emails the right way, the way that you intend it to do. This is where your email, your subject line is going to be. You can actually send it from multiple different addresses if you need to. You can set that up inside of your ConvertKit account. And then here is where you're going to select the subscribers, right? So you can send it all subscribers. You can send it to subscribers that are uh, tagged a certain way or bought a certain product, came in through a certain form. You could send out emails based on their segment that they're in. If you've created segments to cold subscribers within a certain location, you can send this to an individual. So if you send out an email and then somebody says they don't get it, you can then go ahead and send this out to an individual email address. Or if you are in business where you want to send this out to only those with an EDU address, you can use the contains filter and go ahead and do that as well. You can also add multiple filters so that you can have people coming all of these, but then also making sure that none of those, so on and so forth. Then you could go ahead and schedule this out. When do you want to send it? You can schedule it ahead of time. You can send it right now. You can pick the date, the time at which you want to send it out. So you could go ahead and, and schedule that. The final bits are posting to your public feed. Now, what is that? That is a, essentially you can make your emails public. ConvertKit gives you essentially a website for your emails. So you can go ahead and post this to your public feed and share it out as a link if you'd like to, okay? And finally, the advanced options, preview text. Now, preview text is what shows up in the inbox next to everyone else's emails as well but next to the subject line. So use this as a subject line number two, if you will. The object of a preview text is to help get that open. It only appears in the inbox. When someone is reading the email, they don't see that preview text, okay? And then internal note is something which only you see. So you will see this on your end and nobody else sees this. So if I schedule this out, um, let's just say YouTube uh, video, right? Click on continue, sure, schedule that broadcast. You get this nice little banner here. You'd still post it to your public feed if you'd like. And then you can see, see YouTube video. So in other words, this YouTube video is that internal note. And you can see that it's queued up and away it's gonna go. So you can actually click and unschedule it and then go back and edit it if you'd like. And that's it. Now you know how to send a broadcast email through ConvertKit. In the next video, which I link up below, I'm gonna show you how to send out emails via a sequence. If this was helpful and you got value from this, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel click that like button, click that bell icon so that you get notified when a new video drops. If you treat your email list like humans, amazing transformations will happen.